All right, guys, so we're gonna start working on the wiring harness. And to save y'all a bunch of time, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna label each one of these wires again. So here's the bow of the boat, but this doesn't tell us what any of this does, okay? Then we're gonna work our way back and we're going to, you know, we got new plugs coming in and we're gonna try to figure out where all this stuff goes, what goes to what. And guys, this is a 30 plus year old wire probably. So we're gonna go ahead and just replace the whole thing with new wire. And if you guys do not have a wiring harness, you need to take some string, lay it out through the boat and label each, each thing of string so that you know that you have everything accounted for. Last thing you need is, oh man, I forgot the bilge pump switch up at the front of the boat. You know, so just make sure you go through, take the time so this is what we're going to do right now we're going to go through we're going to start at the front we're going to label each wire and then we're going to work our way back and then we'll make sure everything is labeled then we're going to take out the unnecessary cables there's a couple in here and after that we'll get back together So we just got some of the wires labeled. We have the front nav light. This is an electronics wire that's running all the way to the back of the boat. I think directly to the batteries. We have a trolling motor accessory wire. Not really sure what this went to. And then we have an accessory wire, right? Then we have a unknown white wire. It's probably a ground. It's probably the ground for this because um, we got black and red. So then we're gonna come back here. Now, guys, like if you have this sort of stuff going on in your boat, right? Cracked wires because this is this is old stuff, and you got this kind of situation going. You need to take it somewhere to get that fixed. If you don't know how the wherewithal to do it, you need to go and get that fixed because that'll ruin your day. It really will. This could potentially cause a lot of damage to your boat, to your wiring harness. You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what things were like in the 80s. Wasn't born, but uh, we've kind of upgraded since then, and we have some nicer stuff. So now, oh, we've got to finish this. So we have port fuel starboard fuel and then nav rear nav light here's the electronics wire that runs all the way and we have the you know it's either port or starboard bilge whichever one you want it to be they labeled it aft and forward bilge and then we have the pump uh, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna kind of come up in here and start labeling all this stuff so that we know what we got going on and we're probably gonna start taking out some of these wires all right, all right dad so you were around in the 80s I wasn't I was just a figment of your imagination uh, can you uh, kind of take the viewers through what we got going on here uh, kind of how this works so well, that's a scary thought in the process but uh, basically we have some hot wires coming back from the battery going through all this loveliness here uh, up into the back of the fuse box and we have two hot wires coming in and then we have a jumper hot wire over to this side over here which we're a little bit confused about right now but we're going to get to the bottom of that but basically we have two hot wires coming in servicing these two and they jumper across and what we've been trying to do is track all these wires and get rid of the stuff we don't need uh, 
some of the stuff like the aerators because we have uh, new stuff going on the boat that's going to become a non-issue this is going to be gone uh, the safety horn and stuff like that probably going to replace that and get rid of it and some of this is just kind of nonsense of you know people doing stuff not really documenting it uh, so what we're going to do is looking at this we're probably just going to do away with this and just really not waste our time and just be faster and easier and cleaner to just build a harness uh, new. Uh, there's just too much of this type of stuff going on in the harness to make it worthwhile. Uh, but we're trying to get a good understanding of how it works before we go off and we're learning from what we have here and then we're just piecing together kind of like a jigsaw puzzle and from that jigsaw puzzle we're going to make it better and more efficient. Uh, and hopefully a lot safer, uh, I think is our goals. Sounds good. All right, so we have just so much of a mess going on here. We've just decided we're not even going to, we're not even gonna mess with it. We're just going to, we might use it to kind of figure out how to wire the gauges or the switches, but other than that, we're done with this. So we've decided we're gonna go with a fuse panel like this so this is a blue C system part number 5026 get these on our website so we're gonna have hot coming in this is gonna be a four gauge wire all right it's because you don't know how many amps people are gonna add on things like that so let's just put four gauge here then we're gonna have the negative four gauge up the top basically we're having a negative bus bar up here uh, for any accessories right like if you put graphs you're gonna want to put them up here so what we did is we went through and we uh, widened out the fuses and we kind of made this all up so that we can get a game plan to figure out how we're going to wire this. So we just went through and wire, uh, labeled each thing. So we have port aerator, it's going to be a brown wire. The starboard aerator is going to be a brown wire. The bilge aerator is going to be a brown wire. But what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of tape on either end to separate these so this one will be like brown and white brown and yellow and solid brown okay then we're gonna have gray for our nav lights blue for interior lights pink for the fuel uh, both sides will do the same thing maybe pink and white for one pink solid pink for the other yellow for an aux for the auxiliary switch and orange for a USB plug that we're gonna have and then that leaves us with three empty slots which we think is more than enough and uh, so that's about it. Then we're going to also run uh, some wire up to the front of the boat to power a graph and maybe an auxiliary switch up there. And that's about it. So stick around. We're going to go pick up as much of our supplies as we can get our hands on and we'll get to going on it tomorrow.